We have now come to the melodic dictation part of the exam. The given four-bar melody will be played three times. It is in the key of D major and in the meter of 2-4. I will now play the melody a second time. One, two. I will now be playing the melody a final time. It is easy to feel overwhelmed when doing melodic dictation. Just when you think you figured out what the first note was, the entire excerpt is over in a flash, and you find yourself staring at a blank stave, unable to fill in a single note despite repeated listenings. So, what strategy should we take to make melodic dictation a more manageable task? Let's break it down into a few steps. Step 1. Take down the rhythm first. Usually, in an exam situation, it is common for a dictation passage to be played three or four times. Make use of each listening effectively. On the first listening, focus on just the rhythm and take it down using shorthand. Once you have the rhythm down, it is so much easier to fill in the pitches on the subsequent listenings. Even if you have no idea what some of the notes in the middle of the excerpt are, you can confidently take down what comes after without getting thrown off. Step 2. Identify the opening and closing scale degrees as well as other traits you may observe across groups of notes. Identify which scale degrees the passage starts and ends on. For a non-modulating tonal passage, the opening scale degrees are likely to be 1, 3, or 5, though not always. If the passage sounds like it has come to a complete close, as if ending on a full stop, the ending scale degree is most likely to be 1, or maybe even a 3 or a 5. If the passage sounds like it has come to a temporary close, then the ending scale degree is most likely to be a 5 or 2, or even a 7. Look out for traits across groups of notes, such as notes belonging to a chord, notes running in stepwise motion, leaps or neighbor notes etc. Step 3. Write out the melody in scale degrees against the notated rhythm. With the rhythm captured and the main melodic traits noted, it is far easier to make an intelligent guess on what scale degrees the melody lies. Even if you do not manage to capture every single note, you will at least get partial credit on your dictation. Step 4. Fill in the given melody by mapping the scale degrees onto the given key. Fill in the notes on the stave according to the key. If there are any subsequent listenings left, you may check your answer. Melodic dictation can be a very daunting task for some of us. 
When faced with a mammoth task, it is always helpful to break it down into smaller and more manageable steps. Of course, strengthening melodic memory, rhythmic memory, as well as the ability to identify scale degrees and intervals would greatly help in accomplishing all these steps. To find out how you can improve in all these aspects of musical listening, please visit www.musicacademics.sg. Happy listening!